What's going on, everybody? Let's uh, jump in to another Vintage Cube draft. I'll be your host for the evening, or at least for this draft. After that, how about a bowl of spaghetti? Yeah, make a bowl of spaghetti. <sighs> for those watching on YouTube, Katie just walked in, and she's been crocheting a bunch of different animals and creatures. Um, so that's something she's been having fun with, and she just showed off a little elephant that she's made. Ooh, a mox emerald. So Eric Jardine said she should crochet a bowl of spaghetti <laughs> it's literally just a bowl full of red yarn and some some round brown balls that sounds good let's take mox let's not beat around the bush jimmy the fish <laughs> whoever else it fucking was <laughs> God, you're so aggressive right now okay i think it was um pizza rat Pepperoni Pizza Rat, Nightmare Spider, Jimbo the Sarcophagus, <sighs> I, don't, I can't remember the last one, I think Jimmy the Fish, I think you're thinking of Jimmy the Mole who is actually a, a viewer, which is a little bit different, we can take World Spine Worm, and then we can hope to get that flash again, this pack is less interesting there is a retrofitter foundry though, which goes well with a Gaia's cradle if we get it. Oh my God, Affinity with the Chuck E. Cheese band members. Perfect. Hope is pizza. Michael, oh, name God. as many of the Chuck E. Cheese band characters as you can. Ratfink. <laughs> Ratfink. Uh, Jimbo the sarcophagus. I think I'm taking retrofitter here. <laughs> Why is it called the pizza sarcophagus? Pizza rat. Why is he called the sarcophagus? Pepperoni Pizza Rat. <laughs> just, just you know, Pizza Rat and Pepperoni Pizza Rat are the same character. He's just wearing a hand and Nightmare Spider. Nightmare Spider. <laughs> <laughs> okay, wait. I'm sorry. What was what was the sarcophagus's real name? <laughs> oh, Jimbo the sarcophagus. You beautiful soul. Oh, I like an Emrakul. You know why? Because I'll just get a friggin' channel. Because no one respects channel. But also, we can get it through the breach. This is a deck I love drafting. I just really enjoy it. Sometimes it works. Sometimes it doesn't work. But a lot of times it works. Oh, Michael lists the A-team members. Oh, shit. That seems good. There's Brickhouse. Brickhouse. Jimmy the Fish, Jimmy the Fish was a member of the A-team. Boswell. <laughs> Jesus Christ. You fucking Boswell. <laughs> oh my God. That's hilarious, dude. Yeah, we're going to take Emrakul here. There's just too much you can do with this beautiful, beautiful baby. Boswell. Come on, man. We could be green blue and I say this because there's not many good green cards in here other than Hornet Queen there's no green cards other than Hornet Queen take an opposition could go go to the retro for round we just build around opposition and if Chromo Seed Shark Skydiver Hornet Queen or Euro comes back alright I'm going to take opposition I have not oppositioned yet this this go around Dude, it's so weird having like recommended channels on your on your side, on your like um on Twitch, and it's like Shroud, 22,000 viewers, and you're like, what? Oh, hey, look, this this person, 38,000 viewers, and it's like, what? <laughs> That's a lot. They're just such unrealistic numbers for normal people, you know? Yeah, yeah, good times. <laughs> Boswell. Fucking Boswell. Apparently I thought it was that funny back then too. Oh, Elvish Mystic seems like where we want to be here. Interesting. None of these other cards are that good. Like, Opposition, if we're going to take an Opposition, like, what's the best? Elvish Mystic. It's got to be Elvish Mystic, right? I think I would also 
definitely take an Urza Saga. It makes two creatures and it finds either Retrofit or a Mox Emerald right now. So if I came across it, I would definitely take it for right now. Oh, Flash though. There's a Flash and I think we can get World Spine Worm or Triplicate Titan to come back. Let's take Flash and try it one more time. Stuart's going to be really sad if he's not here that we're we're doing the Flash and he's not going to not going to be here for it, but Oh, I see him in the chat though. I wonder if he just left his he probably went to go take a nap and he left his he left his iPad up, you know. Tail as old as time. Oh yeah, of course. We should. We just. We definitely have card command here. I don't want to look stupid. <laughs> uh, tell me about this card. Hello, is anyone there? Mm, this is awkward. I want to take breeding pool here. For you know, obvious, very, very <laughs> obvious reasons. Eric with the five, six gifted subs. Oh my god, dude! Really appreciate you, buddy. You are un. You are unbelievably giving, my dude. Thank you. How many? How many is that? 154 gifted subs in this channel total. What a maniac. Dude, I appreciate you, Eric. Thank you. Let me see how long you've been following. 2018. It's like half a decade, man. Do you still play MTG competitively? Um, not really. And it's mostly just convenience. Like, I, it's hard to really, like... The, like, testing and going to events Thank is you. just exhausting. And I kind of hate it. <laughs> I like never really enjoyed it. Thank you. Is it inspired ultimatum here? Because we're also going to get dream halls. Is that what's going to do? Is that what's going to happen? Can I discard a colorless card to cast an Emrakul? Probably not. The answer is no. Will I play green sun zenith? Yeah, probably. Do I really want to make Inspired Ultimatum work at some point? Yeah, probably. It really bothers me that this cube has Green Sun Zenith, Invasion of Ikoria, and Finale of Devastation. Three very, very similar effects, but it doesn't have Tooth and Nail, which I think is better than all three of them. Let's take a Garrick. Avenger is actually really good with Opposition, but I think we need more early stuff. Plus, I think we can still get like the horn. There's a Hornet Queen, a a World Spine Worm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Actually, that was the pack with World Spine Worm. So I think we're just looking for uh triplicate Titan. And there's a Hornet Queen going around. So I don't know. Plus, that one pack had a lot of blue and green cards in it. Or a lot of blue cards and one euro is what I meant to say. Similar but different. Oh, oh, the world swine worm came back. Uh, uh, yep, that's a that's a pretty easy pick right there. That's exact. Wow, that's great. What if the Titan comes back too? Then we got two of the top targets for that bad boy. Oh, I'll take a Rex Sage. Sure, Rex Sage is great. Rex Sage do be good. So our blue cards are Flash and Opposition so far. Oh, the Hornet Queen came back. Fantastic. Wow, that's pretty good. That's pretty good with Opposition. I think that was the I think that was the Euro pack. So someone did take the Euro. That's weird. And we'll just take Bolas' Citadel. <laughs> that's not exciting. Tale as old as time. Eh, Merktide region. Oh, wow. That's actually a playable tri builder last pick. Sure. Good deal. What do we got? Time Twister. Fake power. Primeval Titan, which might just be the pick. Uh, Atraxa is a thing. We can get a Traxa with Green Sun Zenith, which is kind of cool. 
Invasion of Ikoria, which is basically just Green Sun Zenith. It just feels like it has to be Primeval Titan. Like, I think that I think if I take a track so that there's a chance Primeval Titan will come back because literally no one likes green. But I think Primeval Titan is just a better card that we definitely want to have. We also did pass a Draga Tree Speaker for something last pick. So. Uh, it's just, is it just Llanowar Elves here? Probably. Yeah, I'll take Llanowar Elves. I'm not excited about it, but it's a necessary evil for this deck, so whatever. Man, eh, whatever. Uh, Grim Monolith. It's actually decent with Opposition, Garrick, Primeval Titan, a lot of these cards. Yeah, we'll take a Grimonolith here. And there's really nothing else that we'd want to take here, so I'm, I'm okay with that. Monolith, real good. <laughs> yeah, Monolith, real good. So do any of these work? Pretty! Oh, Larry David works. Pretty! Pretty, pretty good. So the rest aren't working, and I have to figure out why. Yeah, the triplicate titan didn't make it back, but the world spine worm did, so that's interesting. I'm also curious what other cards might be good with Flash. Nothing we like. I mean, Harder Queen's fine, I guess. I mean, if like flashing in a Hornet Queen is basically the same as playing Raise the Alarm twice. This is a Raise the Alarm, and this is a Raise the Alarm, and you're playing both of them. That's basically what's happening. Augur of Autumn. No blue cards. This is the only green card. Mana Confluence. Eh. I'll just take Autumn. Augur. Autumn Augur. Um, I do like Anissa here. We're very, very heavy green. Reasonably late library. Yeah, Anissa's good. I'm going to put all these in the same pile and then move them here. No, move them here and then move you here. Courser seems good. I don't think it's any of these other cards. Yeah, it's fine. It's just another card that we can play off the top of our library. Sure. Yeah. Flying death touch, raise the alarms for sure. Not identical, but nonetheless, like not as impressive. I'd rather have three five fives than four one ones, you know? Also, Nissa very good with Green Sun Zenith, World Spine Worm, Hornet Queen, even Emrakul. We are crossing our fingers for the uh, the guys, Kratos, or the, or the Fellows. Portal to Phyrexia, huh? Also through the breach, and we have Emrakul, and we have World Spine Worm, which it works very well with. Let's take this. What are your favorite card to cast in this iteration of the cube? Um. Uh, I, oh man, there's a copper line gorge, but it's not a forest. I think I'm just taking questing beast. I've been very impressed with questing beast. Um, plus I'd rather have like a stomping ground, which I think was in the first pack or like a taiga. Um, that's a good question. I know there is one. I know there's something. I've, oh, I think call of the ring has been really, really impressive. Yeah, we only need one red for this. We have Tri Builder and we can add one mountain.
Scavenging Goose came back. Invasion of Ikoria came back. Which is basically the same as Green Sun Zenith, which we already have. I'll just take Scavenging Goose because I think it's pretty solid for some sideboards. Orcish Bowmasters has also overperformed in every draft I've had it in. Just un unbelievably good. I'm sure everyone knew that, but still. There's a Lancer Summer for a Lamp on the Beneficial Tapped. Manamorphose. Could be Manamorphose. It just fixes. I don't know. It's not great, but. I'll just take Andoral here. Bunch of solid black cards there. More solid black cards. How good do you think mono green is? I think it's worse, but I'm still like really tempted by it. Like if I get like really early cards that go well in the mono green archetype, I'm just really, it's I'm hard pressed to like pass them up. Oh, easy thrown. Burgy. I mean, this is like 19 playable cards in a Mox Emerald, so I'm actually pretty okay with where we're looking right now. I think I also find you get a lot of the good green cards late, so it makes it even harder to, like, pass them. Oh, Fourth Aerolingus was really good, too. Yeah, honestly, a lot, a lot of the best cards I've that have that I've felt like were good improvements to this iteration of the cube have been Lord of the Rings cards. Yeah, definitely Rufalos here. This is exactly what we wanted. <laughs> That's your boy. Uh, Palantir is another one. Wow, that's that's so funny. The four cards that I feel like I take the most frequently and have, have had the most impact are Palantir, uh, Orcish Bowmasters, Call of the Ring, and what was the last card I, I just mentioned? Tell me what it was. Yeah, the ring is in here. Oh, Aerolingus. Yep, that's the one. Thank you. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Um, I could see taking Volcanic Island just because it fulfills blue and red. And this pack is pretty unexciting. Palantir is insane. <laughs> Palantir is absolutely busted. Yes. You scry to every turn and you draw a card every turn unless your opponent wants to take like six damage because they flip like a... a Friggin' ridiculous card off the top of your deck. You just put a four drop on the top and they take four, and then you put a four and a five drop and they take nine. Like, I've had players take like 11 damage from flipping three cards off of Palantir because they don't want me to draw one. The card's insane. It's very good. I think it's just Deep Root. Deep Root's a card I really, really like. I think the card is very strong. I just haven't gotten it to work. And by that, I mean, I just, I haven't been able to attack and connect with it. Like I've drafted it like twice, I think. And it's a, and a, I just either never get it in my hand or they've killed it the one time I did get it. Okay. So we want to be able to supplement blue and red. So we need a forest that also has blue and red. What about this one? Swamp Plains. Got it. Got it. Sounds good. Thanks. Sylvan Carry Added is great here because it does let us it does let us do those things. Interesting. Sail to the West. Hermit actually seems pretty good considering we have opposition. I will take a Hermit here. I'm not 100% on Through the Breach right now. Just because we have very limited ways to, to cast it. I think it's like Sylvan Carry Added, Sakura Tri Builder, and like one one mountain just not ideal oh what up shanala good seeing you buddy appreciate the raid my dude
Well, we just went 2-1 in our previous draft. And now we're here. Oh, Woodfall Primus is also another great flash target. It's also another great through the breach target as well. So, yeah. Let's do a little Woody. You guys ever do a little Woody? So this is 23. I'd be satisfied playing this 23. But if we get any better lands, I would be also fine putting through the breach in there. Yeah, Wheeling Waterlog Grove would be nice. My only reservation is that it's not... I could actually see taking opposition out and just playing through the breach so that we don't have any doubles. But man, with Deep Forest Hermit, Garrick, um, oh, there's a cradle in here. Never mind. Good gravy. There's also a pest infestation, which is really good, but we're definitely taking cradle here. That's not even up for debate. <laughs> That's fantastic. Remember when I was like, I really want to get Raffellos and cradle. I feel like those are the two, the two linchpins in the mana strategy that you want. And we got both of them, so that's cool. Interesting. I feel like it's just Tireless Tracker, although I, I could consider Crop Rotation just to get, like, the color we need. But I don't think that's correct. It feels like it's just Tireless Tracker here. And now we're just going to take all the good lands that we come across. Which I don't think are going to be too many, but. Terra Sunder is very good, and it's in my personal cube as well. It's literally just a naturalize with upside. It's a naturalize that turns into a Maelstrom Pulse. So if any card that like fulfills multiple roles like that is very, very good. And I'm, I'm a, usually a pretty sizable fan of it. Uh, we're definitely taking Proving Ground because it splashes the red for us. And now we're bringing this guy back in. Really? You moved all the five drops over to put that guy in? Uh, that's just one. Talisman. Oh, Palantir came back? Wow, that's fascinating. There's also a Talisman. I'm going to take Palantir. It could actually be very good in this deck. I don't know if we're going to play it in this deck, but it could be very good in this deck. None of these cards are exciting. I'll take an Assassin's Trophy. Uh, again, not, not for us. Acidic Slime, pretty good. Pentad Prism. Yeah, can you imagine putting an Emrakul on top and then they just give it to you? Oh, Waterlog Grove, beautiful. That's a good one. Excavator and Call of the... Yeah, we'll take Excavator. This is this was surprisingly late for a lot of these... Uh, a lot of these Lord of the Rings cards here. So this is 26 cards. It's going to be like three cuts here, huh? I don't think we need both Augur and Corsair. Augur seems like it's definitely worse. Is it though? Augur gives you, Corsair gives you life, but Augur lets you just look at the top card. You don't play with it revealed, so they don't get that information. And also if you end up having three different creatures of different power, you get to just play creatures as well. The nod reveal seems good. Plus it's not an enchantment, so you can't just like, you can't tear asunder it for two. I'm gonna actually go with Augur here and see if that's correct. Okay, this guy is Surveil 1, then Return a Land from your river to the battlefield tapped. I think this would be a lot better if we had more fixing. I just don't think it's going to make the cut here. I also don't know if I care about opposition. Like, it's really good, but it might just be win more. I really don't want to rely on having double blue. 
I think Flash and Through the Breach are probably just fine for Woodfall Primus, World Spine Worm, Through the Breach for Emrakul as well. Yeah, I think we're taking opposition out, and I think this deck is probably strong enough without it. You can say, yo, where my man? I will say that. That's actually the exact. Yeah, that's that's probably the exact phrase I would use as well. Yo, MTG. Where my mana at, my dude? Um, I'm also tempted to take Retrofitter Foundry out if we're not. But then again, we still have Guy's Cradle, so that's silly. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, I think this is probably fine. Yeah, we're going to screenshot it as well so that I know what to get with Green Sun. All right. Yeah, I don't know. This feels like a good, a good solid set of cards. We'll see if that matters. I do want one of each of these just because of Sakura Tribe Builder. And then we can go to 10 here. So this is 10 Forest plus Breeding Pool plus Zeotaurus Proving Ground. So that's the 12 Forest for Rafelos. And our five non-forests are these. This, this seems fine. We'll see. We'll see. The green decks have both failed us in this, in this iteration, and they've also come through for us in this iteration, so... Yo, where my mana at? Shoot. 60 card decks always be holding out on the mana, you know? It ain't right. It ain't right. The two land mountain island hand, a oh, buddy. Mike, please. Oh yeah, we'll keep it. Oh, <gasps> oh, but we don't have the blue. Isn't that sad? We'll be good. We're good. We're Gucci. It's okay. We need one blue source. Uh, or red source even. Now we got this monolith. What do we got? Watery Grove, Breeding Pool, Mountain Island, Sylvan carry added Sakura tribe elder proving ground seven sources at a 32. That's not one of them, but that's okay. Let's play Grimothy. Let's play retro fitty. It's really sad that our Twitch chat doesn't go to experience Frank, get to experience Frank. Yeah, I'm making, <laughs> I'm making some mac and cheese for dinner. You gotta bake it in the oven and it gets a little crispy crust on top. Okay. Well, that's fascinating. They have one blue source up. Do they have a counter spell? I wonder. What is this? One, two, three. This is six mana. <laughs> Katie's, Katie's whipping out the vulgarity for the mac and cheese. Sylvan carry added might be the play, and we don't actually have to tap the Grimothy for it. Or it could be Tribelder. Tribelder just nets us up. Yeah, it's carry added. 
I don't feel like they're going to be able to deal with that carry added. Plus, it can add red or blue, you know? Oh, wow. They're cycling their third, their third triome. Are we calling all of these triomes, even the one that aren't the ones that aren't triomes? Probably. Is triome a word? It's like a biome, but with three. I don't think triome is a real word. It's a good one, though. It's a good word to be a fake word, you know? Which one are you going to do? Which one are you getting rid of? It don't matter. I'll kill you anyway. You'll be dead. Uh, let's tap it for three. And let's make a little jabroni. Come on, guys. Cradle off the tippity top. not a cradle but it'll do so what are we doing world spine worm coming at you kill the garrick make a bunch of dudes or we can woodfall primus kill a land kill garrick make another woody i think it's woody here i think we're through the breaching woody and getting rid of two of your little landies oh that's they're like <laughs> they're like you're gonna need more mana for than that son and i'm like oh no uh kill a land Attack Garethy. You ever just add Earthy to the names of people? Like Neon tokyo -thy? And then he dies. That's really sad. Oh, but then he comes back. And then you get to kill your other land right here. Get him out of here. Get him out. He's not welcome here anymore. Okay. <laughs> Toki Empathy. <laughs> That's, that was funnier than I wanted it to be, but you know what? That's a good quality. I appreciate you, Neon Tokyo. Yeah, put your counters on your little boo. This guy also has trample, though, just so you know. Hmm. Do they double block here, you think? Attack that Minskin boo. I feel like they're just going to double block here, right? They just single blocked. Fascinating. So I get to keep my guy. That I was not expecting. That Mitchin Boo. <laughs> not to be confused with Majin Boo. I think that's how you pronounce it, right? What do I know? Yeah, if you spell it in the chat, that helps me pronounce it. <laughs> oh, dear. They got two cards in hand. What could this possibly do? Oh, okay. I did say Majin. Is it Majin? Oh, it's Majin. Majin? This is getting worse. Man, I was expecting them to attack the... Uh... No. I'm good, thanks. 
oh, we just win the game. <laughs> Story yeah. just look, we did it. We flashed. <laughs> look, we fla look, Ma, we flashed. <sighs> I'm wondering if acidic slime is good here because it feels like they have a lot of very, very sensitive mana. Man, through the breach, Woodfall Primus into a uh, Flash World Spine Worm. Oh. I don't think scavenging is really so much. Dude, sitting in your computer chair for like hours at a time is really like. Sometimes a good stretch just really helps. Oh. This hand's pretty good. This hand actually is pretty good. Um, I think we can ship the mountain here. We have proving ground and slow and carry added. Also, proving ground being a forest for Rafellos is just really solid chef's kiss moment. Yeah, turn three Nissa. It's gonna go this into this, then this into this, and then this. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be worse now, but still good. What a little dirt burger. Fourth turn, Nissa. Uh -huh. Love strip mining. Uh -huh. Gotta love it. Just don't have an answer for Minsk and Boo. That's all I want. Uh, <laughs> uh, he meant Rafellos. But then his brain stopped working, so. Oh, God damn it. That's really annoying. Cool. I guess we'll have to wait a turn to play our little our little lady. But we do have a, an abundance of forests here, so that's pretty good. They are a hater. Hater's gonna hate. Potato's gonna potate. Oh, a little choo choo train. Okay. Oh, it's your boy. So, what is this? One, two, three, four, five. We untap a land. She goes to six. Man, remember when Rafellos used to tap for mana? Those are the days. I think we just have to sit back here. If we attack with this, they can just take it, and then they have multiple attackers for Nissa. I don't know if they could... This has Vigilance, actually, so I'm actually tempted to attack Oko with both. They have to block it. They could probably double block here. We trade cat for for land. And then we have no blockers. They make this a 3-3. Three, three. This is a 2. If they have a way to crew this... Yeah, I, I don't feel like attacking here is actually that good for us. Actually, maybe attacking with just Rafellos would have been fine. Uh, 
That's fine because we literally have no more. Oh, they're going to get strip mine back and kill our. <laughs> oh, good times. Nothing but good times with strip mines. So long, land. Fantastic. Oh, yeah, they could have just crewed up the 4 4. Yeah, you're right. That's, that's actually a, total, a thing I totally forgot, which is probably for the best. This feels like an acidic slime situation where I want to bring it in for a chariot or. I get to untap with eight mana, which is not nothing. You got it. Yeah, that was not the correct play. <laughs> um, fascinating. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. You can use one of it to draw. I think we're gonna do that. Fucking Christ, come on, dude. That's ridiculous. Yeah, and they're just going to get strip mine back every turn. Like, this game is not going to be cool. Two more lands. Wonderful. Wonderful. <sighs> well, I'm going to bring in Scavenging Ooze because I don't want them to keep Ren and Sixing us till the end of time. And I'm just going to play 41 here, to be honest, because I think with the number of mana sources we have, having an extra card that's not a mana source, we'll definitely keep this, um, is pretty beneficial. You never wondered where your mana was. That's good, right? That's true, yeah. It's the little things, you know? <laughs> well, you didn't have mana screw issues, huh? Silver linings. Oh, nice. A beautiful skull clamp. Um, What can we get with breeding pool here? We get a two drop. Hmm. I'm pretty sure I screen capped this this deck and then I literally just closed it. So what we're gonna do is gonna close this, go to decks. We can get a Rafellos here. <laughs> Everyone's already saying it, yeah, yeah. Um Okay. I couldn't join the queue because I'm in this game already. And Ruffy. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's one shy of Primus, but it turns on a lot of other cards. And if it's a forest, it ends up being one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, you know what? You can have this. Elvish Mystic. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna block with our fellows here. Actually, I mean hitting Elvish Mystic off the top is probably great for us. You got it. Skull clamp your ragavan. Do 
They did not. Oh. Oh, that's very fascinating. <laughs> boy, oh boy. Breeding pool coming in clutch. Well. Might as well do it now, right? There's no benefit to like waiting. No, I don't have the extra mana. Kill this. Do we kill the skull clamp? I feel like it is skull clamp here. Yeah, that feels pretty good. How much mana do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine mana. That's pretty good. Got an Emrakul in hand. We do not have a red source, so if we did top deck a through the breach, it would all be for naught. What is this? This deck is so weird. Four mana. Garrick? That doesn't seem good. Minsk and Boo. I don't know. One more mana. Change your mind. Okay. You're paying two life. Anissa, Anissa Ascended Animist. Fantastic. That makes four fours. It's fine. What would be great here? That, that would be great here. That's really close to just casting an Emrakul here. Yeah, that's going to be a good. All right, so you got one, two, three. You only added two? Oh, because Forrest's got it. All right. Your move, champ. What is this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12. Okay, we just won the match. That'll do, pig. I have this. Pretty, 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 pretty good. So, you know, similar but different. Unfortunately, our opponent was like, I've seen enough. I'm Gucci. See, I mean, like, the thing is 90% of the time, eh, maybe like, 80% of the time in cube drafts, you're not drafting, you're not playing against absolutely degenerate combo decks that are going to go off every single time. That's not super common. So a lot of times mid-range decks or like the mono green deck can get there and they do just fine. If we hit a land... Oh, come on. We're fellows. That's not a land. So we'll try Belder. And then we'll just pass. I don't love it. I don't hate it. I think we're just getting a green here. Actually. Yeah, we can just get a green here. We have green Sun Zenith. And if we get Rafelos, I want to have more greens. And that's another green. And I'm pretty sure... I mean, I wish we had one more mana. I'm pretty sure we're just wreck saging the Talisman here. That feels correct. Uh, I will definitely use the ability. Thank you for, for inquiring. 
we had one more mana, we could play Garrick untap two and then play Rex Age, but we missed the land drop, so. But no more. Gary! You got it. I mean, we kind of knew that was coming. They're going to V-click? Okay. Get busy clicking. No. I have changed my mind. They're going to counter this for sure. I played Green Sun hoping they'd counter that, but... They save their counter spell for the good card. Now they're gonna cryptic command draw a card. Mana drain. Okay. Interesting. Because I just played a Rafellos, so you know I have expensive things. They're probably just gonna Wrath of God. To have Triome Tundra, kill all our creatures. Play some play an Oko. Play a Jace. That would be sick. I'd be impressed. Okay. Wow, they didn't get rid of Rafellos. This is very, very fascinating. Y'all done? Y'all done, champ? There you go. Get rid of my Hornet Queen. <laughs> oh yes that's a good one <laughs> fingers crossed they don't have another counter spell I guess in their last three cards what is this so this is 6, 12, 13 I don't think we need it So five, six, seven, eight. I think we're just going for eight. It also lets us play around like a misdirection or some mis uh, miscalculation or something. Seems good. What did we not get here? Uh, only Emrakul and World Spine Worm, which is totally fine. Okay. Um, is it just Woodfall Primus killed our Teferi? That seems correct with only three cards. I like Hornet Queen, but no, it's got to be wood. It's got to be woody. Big woody. Oh, sure. Well, that was a weird choice. I mean, I guess it was a totally normal choice, but I mean, I'm, I guess I was more surprised that she had a Qatar commander just sitting there. They're going to crack that immediately. <laughs> yeah, okay. Unfortunately, we're going to top deck either Flash or Through the Breach here. You ready? It's worse. Factor Fiction. Oh, they're just cycling a Proving Ground. Man, what is with all the Triomes in these past two rounds? Yeah, play that land. That seems totally fine. There are five. They have to block this guy. So they're going to probably block here. Actually, this guy's got Trample. They have to block here. If they block here and here, 
then they take four and one. So they actually have to block this guy. Yeah, this feels really easy. Yep. The double block seems good. And now they go to two. We get to kill both our guys. This dude comes back. We get to kill their triome. Play another forest here. And now even if they wrath the board, like we still have eight mana, so we can cast pretty much everything in their in our deck. Yeah, this is a desperation ponder. Green deck coming in clutch. <laughs> Tempted to bring in scavenging news again. But I don't know how good that's going to be. We, like, we didn't see a Snapcaster Mage or anything like that. The run does seem pretty good. Smart. I like it. Without opposition, I think we can take out the Hermit. Courser seems... Why, Cor why do you think Courser seems good? Like, we already have Augur. I don't think we need two of that effect. I mean, I'd rather bring an Acidic Slime. I think it's we've got a little more versatility here. I think this is actually fine. Oh yeah. Oh, well, that's a turn one flash world spine worm. So that's pretty good. Um, oh dear Jesus. I think we just do it on our turn. I think the odds of them having a counter spell on their turn is higher than having an answer on their turn. And that could cost us nothing. We still have our regular hand here. Oh my god, did we just live the dream? Right, unless you got a three mana Wrath of God here, I'm very curious what you could get. We're just going to hold green sun. And... Uh... This is three five fives. They all have trample. I'm very curious what card in the cube could deal with this. And you found it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Well, I'm glad we kept our green sun zenith, I guess. That's hilarious. Sacrifice all creatures. Done. Well, they're still at five. And we're very close to just putting a... Um, What can we get with three? Augur, perhaps? Balance. That's hilarious. Oh boy. Boy oh boy. God would never let me be successful. He'll kill me first. It was a two mana wrath, not a three mana. Manum. I mean next time we can green sun for Thrun, which is pretty good. I think we just get a red here because we have Emrakul. And then if we hit through the breach, then we just get to do that. I mean, I know they have Force of Negation here, so it's going to be really awkward. So, what do you, I, gotta, I mean, I got to play it. What are you going to do? Manage Rain. Fantastic. Oh, boy. That's... <laughs> Seems good. 
through the breach one time. Actually, they're probably going to let me keep this. They're like, yeah, sure. What's the worst that could happen? And then we draw through the breach, right? You ready? Yeah, Thrun's pretty good. It doesn't deal with Elder Gargroth very well, let's be honest, but... Wow. Flash into World Spine Worm, and then they have balance. God. Oh, boy. Wow, they're doing very well for themselves. Very, very well for themselves. We're literally just hoping to top deck through the breach here. Now we're at five. That's not it. Wow, that was a. I'm, I'm like actually flabbergasted that we ended up losing that game. Unfucking believable. <laughs> like, shockingly unbelievable. Yeah. All right. Good to know they have balance and they had it in their hand. Great. Great success. It's so sad when you get to do the cool thing and then they get to counter the cool thing. We'll play first again. We'll keep it. We'll, we'll keep it. So we know they have mana drain. We think they have, I think they have force of negation. I'm pretty sure we saw that. What, what, what do we get with this forest? Probably. I mean, I'm sure they're going to Vendillion click us and or counter our stuff. That's, that's going to be the, Oh, actually, next turn, Questing Beast is pretty sweet, too. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to... I'm not going to yield until next end step, because if they have, like, a removal or something... Oh, this is great. Give me a Mox one time. One time. That'll do. <laughs> That'll do. I got, it. I got a little verklempt. And then I dealt you another 15. Take your permanence and fuck off. Um, Do we green sun zenith anything better than this guy? Answer is no. Oh, we just win the game. <laughs> oh, Lord. I'm going to deal 15 to you early in every single game, buddy, if it's the last thing I do. That's our bet. <laughs> oh, good times. See, green decks can still do degenerate things. Come on. Where's my hand? How high is... My, hand, my hand's just disappearing. I'm not feeling so good, Mr. Stark. Yeah, that was pretty good. They have nothing to deal with this. Nothing. Told you. Nice. Too soon. <laughs> That's been like five years, right? Oh, boy. That was a match. So we're 2-0. That's pretty good. Can we 3-0? I don't know. Someone is messing with your parents in the past. <laughs> They're not getting together. They need to meet at the Under the Sea dance, you know? Sometimes Flash World Spine Worm is just as good as Through the Breach Emrakul, you know? Man, I asked for a I asked for a mox and I got that grim monolith and I was like, it nets us one. That's all I can ask for. They're tapping out for a talisman? Perfect. Oh, this is this is gonna do it. This is gonna be you ready? This is gonna be we're gonna do it again. It's gonna happen. After this, I gotta go make some macaroni and cheese with some broccoli.
What's the recipe? Wow, that's a oh, damn it. What a little biscuit. All right, well. We did go to Stuff Burger at 210 College Avenue. It was all right. I feel like I wasn't blown away. Oh, wow. Oh, duress. I'm so frustrated right now. Oh, my God. We would have had it. That's just sad, man. Sag. Oh, my God. I'm not having any fun anymore. This was fun. Now it's just not fun. That's the opposite of fun. You're so close. They had to have a duress, specifically a duress. Concierge from Texas. Oh, that's our old concierge. That's our old Texas concierge. Cool. Enjoy my deep forest hermit. Let's take the card you can play this turn. Wow, they've literally just had an answer for literally everything I've played on turn two, three, and four. It's really hard to just live in top deck mode, unfortunately. So I guess we just get a red and and like cross our fingers for a hornet uh, through the breach or something. Yeah, Google's Google's solid. I've used Google once or twice. They really know what they're doing over there, you know? Get busy breaching. I'm just going to concede here. We have nothing and we're in top deck mode. It's just not, it's not a good time. That was not an ideal game. Take out this hermit. Bring in... Probably ooze. Acidic slime I like. I think Foundry might be too slow. We'll bring in a Thrun, and we can call it a day. Just call it a day. Bring in a bunch of, bunch of obnoxious creatures, you know? I feel the one duress with the dude pooping icker art is the art they should use. The dude pooping icker art. We're going to look it up. Is that the new one you're referring to? No. That doesn't look like it. Let's find the pooping one. I don't, I don't know which one that is. <laughs> I don't know which one that is. Oh, this hand's rough. I don't think it does anything. This hand does a thing. We'll ship the grove. Come on, no duress. No whammies, no whammies, no whammies. Into top deck World Spine Worm. That's all I want. It's not a lot. I don't think I'm asking for a lot. They did not have it. Okay, but that's not it either, so. Flashing Primeval Titan does not do anything we care about, right? 
It looks like a dude pooping and struggling with it. Is it this one from Phyrexia Albi one? I think I fail push this guy? Wow. I didn't even care about him to be honest with you. Look at that. Look at that guy. That guy makes Flash really awkward. This card is really problematic for a lot of the good strategies in the cube. Huh? No? Okay. Like, if I flash and World Spine Worm goes to the graveyard, it doesn't die because it actually gets exiled instead. And I actually don't know how to deal with this now, so... I guess we're looking for Andrew's Battlefield triggers and not... Um, leaves the battlefield triggers. I think that's the same thing with crock pots and bread makers as well, babe. You can get like they have all like my bread maker was only my I guess it's called a bread maker, not a bread maker, but a a mixer, a stand mixer. It was only like a hundred bucks, but it's really good and I like it. But you can get them that's like five hundred. I think it's all do. It's all, it just comes down to like the parts they use to make them. Oh, it's a primeval titan. Okay. Smart. That's insane. But that guy being gone means Flash is online again. But I guess we're drawing this for us, so it doesn't really matter. So that's a bummer. <laughs> I am also a sucker, a sucker for the more expensive, probably better mentality. But that being the case, I do a shit ton of research on stuff. Like I spend hours on research and it's exhausting. Okay, so I assume you're going to go get Thespian. Oh, you already have Thespian stage. All right, well, we got a turn at least. And then we probably die. So this match wasn't even close. I, I feel like I really didn't get to interact here very much. And that was, that's fine, I guess. Yeah, I think Dothy Voidwalker is just super fucking impressive. Choose an exile card and opponent controls or owns with a void counter on it. You can play without paying the cost. Like, if you literally have Dothy Voidwalker and you just thought seize them and choose like a 10 mana card, you just get to cast it for free. Like I always think you got to pay the mana because that's usually how black cards work, but that's kind of unreal, man. Well, that's pretty interesting. That's actually really interesting. If they go to make dark depths, we get to just kill it. And then we actually, oh wow, this is really surprisingly good for us. So we kill Dark Depths, or I guess we kill both of these. Cool. I mean, we only have a 5-5 five five now, but our clock isn't that far apart. Wow, that was a very timely draw beautiful enjoy all of your beautiful lands woodfall prime is gonna die shielded <laughs> oh lord Oh, of course, it's a Sakura Tribe Builder. Why wouldn't it be? Yep, that's pretty much the game. Well, we tried. We put up a best fight, but unfortunately, we just won to good value creatures dot deck and disruption dot deck. Thank you guys for watching. Really appreciate you. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. 
follow on YouTube. Go to YouTube if you're watching on Twitch. Go to Twitch if you're watching on YouTube and support the channel. It's a great way to do so. I'll see you next time, guys. Thanks for watching.